In this video, I'm going to break down how to use keto and fasting to relieve your heartburn and acid reflux. What's up keto campers? My name is Ben Azadi. I am a certified functional health practitioner. I am a best-selling author and I am on a mission to educate 1 billion people on planet Earth and I'm grateful that you're here spending part of your day with me. Heartburn is so common. You might be experiencing this right now. You might have been experiencing this for years. I can tell you that it is not fun when you have this, this feeling that's just not right and you're afraid to eat certain foods. You have trouble sleeping sometimes because it's affecting your sleep. It's affecting your quality of life. I'm here to break down some simple ways to fix it for good because if you don't take care of this right now and your stomach acid gets depleted and it gets worse and worse and worse, it could lead to major problems like esophageal cancer. This video is very important for somebody to realize this and take action with it so they could reverse what's happening in their body here. There are many myths around acid reflux, around heartburn. The fact of the matter is that it is a common error to assume somebody has acid reflux because of too much stomach acid. It's actually the complete opposite. Our stomach is very acidic. The pH balance we want in there, it's about one to three. When the stomach has a pH balance of one to three, like I said, very acidic, it's gonna function properly. You're not gonna experience these symptoms of heartburn. But when you start losing stomach acid, then you experience these symptoms. In fact, it's very common as people grow older, they lose stomach acid and they experience acid reflux. So if you're older and you've gotten it as you've aged, it's gotten worse and worse and worse, you could understand what I'm saying here. I'm still gonna give you solutions no matter how old you are, it's gonna work for you today. So when your stomach acid, you start to lose it and you have your, your stomach becoming more alkaline, what happens is it doesn't function properly. You have this valve that doesn't close the way you want it to close and then you experience acid reflux, heartburn, GERD. Now acid blockers might temporarily relieve your symptoms, but it's making the situation worse. It is not getting to the root cause and it's causing more harm than good because you're actually depleting your acid even further, which does not help the problem. It's gonna make it worse. You want the body to be very acid. You wanna have great acid in there to help break down bad bacteria and microbes from the food that we eat. Think about a dog. A dog has a very acidic stomach because they could actually eat raw meat and drink dirty water and be just fine because it has the acid in the stomach to do so. Acid is important to break down minerals, to absorb nutrients. When you deplete it with acid blockers, you are creating major problems down the line. Like I said, it could lead to something like esophageal cancer. So here's a quick overview of the video you're about to watch. The heartburn myth. I actually just said that right now, what it was. So boom, you already got that out of the way. I'm also gonna explain how keto can actually make things worse, okay? You can do keto the right way, which I'm gonna break down for you shortly in this video, and you can do it the wrong way, which will make your acid reflux and your digestive issues worse. So it's important for you following the keto diet to understand the difference here, and I'm gonna break down a difference for you. Then I'm gonna talk about the best liquid for reversing heartburn. And I recommend actually having this during your fast, right before your meals. It has been the most powerful liquid I've seen just transform the symptoms that people are having with this digestive disorder. Here's how you use the keto diet to reverse heartburn, acid reflux, and GERD. What's very important here to heal the gut is to bring down inflammation. The keto diet, I should say, a healthy keto diet, the way I teach it, is very much anti-inflammatory. When you eat these healthy fats, they're going to help bring down inflammation, especially inflammation in your digestive system, which will definitely help with the symptoms you're experiencing right now. So we wanna make sure we're eating healthy fats, like avocados, we're eating pastured eggs, we're eating grass-fed beef. Beef, by the way, would be great for acid reflux. We're eating nuts and seeds that are from quality sources, peely nuts, macadamia nuts. We're having olive oil. These are the healthy keto foods that are gonna help bring down inflammation and heal the gut. Now let's look at dirty keto for a second. There is many different ways to do keto. Not every single way is necessarily healthy and the dirty way will make your symptoms even worse. Those are going to include vegetable oils. If you're eating vegetable oils, if you're consuming them on your keto diet, you're going to create massive amounts of inflammation and your heartburn is going to get worse. So that's gonna be canola. You wanna definitely remove canola, which is also called rapeseed oil. 
you want to remove grapeseed oil, you want to remove um, cottonseed oil, soybean oil, safflower oil, and sunflower oil. If you're consuming any of those, take them out. By the way, restaurants, they 98% of them are consuming or are cooking with these oils. So you got to request and let them know this is what I do. Hey, uh, waiter or waitress, I'm allergic to vegetable oils. Do you happen to have olive oil back there or grass-fed butter? And it's always a yes, and they'll do that. They'll make that switch. That'll make a big difference for your inflammation. The next thing is pasteurized dairy. You want to make sure the dairy you're having on the keto diet is not pasteurized. It's not heated. Raw dairy should be fine. Raw milk, if you could find that in moderation, should be fine. But if you're eating a whole bunch of pasteurized cheese, that's actually increasing inflammation. I would throw into the mix here grains, although that's not very keto, but definitely reduce, remove all grains, all gluten, and you're going to see a significant increase in your symptom removals and your symptoms going away. And then lastly is we want to lose weight because when you follow the keto the right way, and that's the way I teach it, you're going to start dropping pounds. You're going to start dropping body fat, which is going to relieve a lot of pressure. Because when you have a big belly, if you have all this body fat in your abdomen, it actually increases pressure and it creates the, your, your, your acid actually goes up here and it creates acid reflux. It's, it's this pressure that's incurring and the acid could actually be pushed out of the esophagus and you're going to experience acid reflux. So as you lose weight and get to a healthier weight, you don't have this pressure anymore. Another thing to consider is that if you're a female and you're wearing very, very tight clothes, it might do the same thing. It might put on pressure in your abdomen and actually increase your heartburn. If you're a guy and you're wearing a tight belt, same thing. So you want to lose weight, get to your healthy body weight, and that'll be a great way to relieve a lot of pressure from your abdomen. This is my favorite way to reverse heartburn, GERD, and acid reflux, fasting. So many people have digestive disorders because their gut has just been working overtime for years because they haven't practiced fasting. If you've been eating every two to three hours, even if it's the healthiest food in the world, you're working your digestive system. And I always compare this to a corporate worker named Sandra who works nine to five. She puts in eight hours of solid work it's now 5 p.m. and Sandra's walking to her car. She's exhausted, ready to get in her car, drive home and just relax and watch Netflix and just chill for the rest of the night. And as she's getting into her car, she gets a phone call from her boss asking her to come back in and work on a project for another five hours. So now it's 10 p.m. at night. Sandra is really exhausted, walking back to her car, ready to just go home and go to sleep. And she gets that same phone call from her boss, Sandra, we need you to come back in and work on another project. This is what's happening to your digestive system if you are not practicing intermittent fasting. You are work overworking it. So imagine what happened to Sandra. Imagine that happening to her for months and even years. She's gonna be destroyed. She's gonna be wrecked. Same thing with your digestive system. We need to give it a break. And fasting is the most powerful way to do so. It's the first time in your life that your digestive system is completely taking a break and it's going to heal itself. In fact, in a moment here, I'm gonna bring my girlfriend, Natasia, and she's gonna share with you a powerful testimonial on what fasting did for her acid reflux. She had really bad acid reflux, really bad GERD. She was going doctor to doctor, then we met, and she started fasting, and she's gonna share a little bit about that in a second here. All right, here's something I love to do with my clients who have acid reflux, and I have them on a fasting protocol. I have them take apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon, sip it with water throughout the day. It makes a huge difference with heartburn. You wanna make sure it is the raw, unfil unfiltered, organic with the mother, it's called apple cider vinegar, like Bragg's has that. I'll put a link for it down below. That's the best, and throw in a little bit of some salt. Uh, I've heard my colleague, Dr. Ken Berry, talk about putting a little bit of some salt in the water or under your tongue, or on your tongue, helps with acid reflux. Uh, that could help as well. And also, when you break the fast, before you break the fast, have a shot of apple cider vinegar before your meal. That'll make a big difference as well. I've seen that really transform symptoms in people. Lastly here, we wanna make sure that we are fasting at least three hours before bed. Look, if you are dealing with acid reflux right now and you're eating and going to bed within two hours, that's a problem. That's gonna create so much dysfunction and massive amounts of symptoms the following day. So you wanna make sure you're fasting at least three hours before bed, not just for the digestive health, but for overall health, for fat burning, to lessen free radicals and reactive oxygen species, which 
age the body faster when you eat too close to bed. So it's always a good golden rule here for perfect health to give yourself at least three hours of fasting before bed. Okay, I'm gonna bring my girlfriend here into the video and she's gonna share with you a little testimonial. And then at the, after that, I'm gonna give you three powerful supplements to include with this protocol that's going to just boost your results. And these are what you should have before your meals and throughout the day. These are very important supplements that I've seen work wonders for acid reflux and heartburn. If you're serious about getting rid of this for good, you're gonna to wanna to hear these supplements. So here's my girlfriend, Natasha. She's gonna share her story of heartburn, acid reflux, and what she dealt with before we started doing fasting with her. So welcome to the keto camp, Natasha, my, girl, my beautiful girlfriend, Natasha. Hi. <laughs> so share with them. So when I first met Ben, I was suffering from um, acid reflux and GERD. Um, I had been suffering with it for about a year or so. It started like my last semester in college just from anxiety and stress and all of the junk that I used to eat. And it was at the point when I had met him that it was just constant. And I would wake up in the morning and I had acid reflux. I would go to sleep at night. I would have acid reflux. I would drink a glass of water, acid reflux. Um, I was eating a very bland diet. And then I started doing intermittent fasting. And it took some time. But over the course of like a couple of months to a year after, I hadn't even noticed it until one day I was like, wow, I haven't had acid reflux in a while like I hadn't remembered the last time I took like um Tums or what's the other one called Nexium something mm -hmm. like that and I was just feeling normal and I could eat whatever well not whatever I wanted but I was able to eat like a normal diet like it was at the point where I couldn't even have salads because just like the greens and the salad would make me get acid reflux. So I definitely improved and I haven't had a bad case since. Look at that. And, and now, like she said, she has more flexibility to have foods she enjoys without a flare up. And fasting was one of the power, most powerful tools that we incorporated for that to happen. So that can happen for you as well. If you want to see more videos with Natasia, my girl, my beautiful Brazilian bombshell Natasia, put down below more Natasia. And also, <laughs> follow her on Instagram with Feisty Fembot, at Feisty Fembot. I'll put the hand, her handle down below. She's very active on there. If you're a woman and you're into fashion, if you're into weird, weird things, follow her on Instagram. And uh, thank you for your thank testimonial. You. That was a powerful testimonial, wasn't it? You know, you could experience something similar. I've seen it just transform her health and you've heard it from her right now. So here are my supplements. Ginger root. I love ginger root. It's been shown to really heal the digestive system. You could drink it during your fast. That's great. Or you could chew on it. So drink ginger root tea or chew on it throughout your fast. That would make a big difference. Betaine hydrochloride. You could take that before your meals with, by the way, with a digestive enzyme that has ox bile in it. So that serves a dual purpose. The ox bile will help you break down the fat, which you know I'm a big fan of having something to help break down the fat to help your bile break down that fat. And then the, the, the digestive enzymes will help also give your digestion a lending hand. It'll actually help you break it down as well. So digestive enzymes, I like systemic formulas, digest. I'll put a link for that down below. And those are the supplements to add to this protocol right here. I know it's gonna make a big difference for you. If this video was helpful, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the Keto Camp YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I release a new video and when I go live so you could ask me a question one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the comment of the day. This comes from Mindy Sweet. She says, wow, who would have known? Thank you for your research and information. Silver fillings, shocking. Thank you, Mindy, for your comment, and I agree with you. She's referring to the episode number two of the Keto Camp podcast, which I have the audio on this YouTube channel. We talked about how silver fillings are creating massive amounts of inflammation and people are doing keto and they're not getting the results they want and fasting as well and they have this issue here that they are not aware of. So make sure you go listen to that Keto Camp podcast. It's available on all platforms, Apple, Stitcher, uh, Google Play, Spotify, SoundCloud, anywhere you listen to podcasts, it's available. And uh, 
I want your comments. If you have any questions, if you have any remarks, please put them down below. You might be the next comment of the day. I make sure I respond to all questions. Hey, thank you for your time and your energy and for watching this video. Have yourself a grateful day. Hi. <laughs> Let me see if the, my voice comes out if I talk like this. So yeah, fasting. One, two, three. So share with them what what happened with uh, your digestive disorders. My fault. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I don't know. It just feels like. I'm... <laughs> okay. No, we need to restart. Like you, could, you could just cut it out. Better. Go. So share with them. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, wait. <clears throat> Talking to there. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say it all over again. No, I'm just going to cut to that bit right now. Okay. We already did the intro. Go.